नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अंकिता कुमार द अपकमिंग एपिसोड ऑफ स्वराज इज अबाउट मार्तंड वर्मा ऑफ ट्रेवन को अ किंग हु ट्राई टू स्टैब्लिश हिंदू राज्य इन एंटायर केरला आफ्टर द फॉल ऑफ द चेरा डायनेस्टी इन केरला अराउंड द इलेवन टू ट्वेल्थ सेंचुरीज केरला वॉज डिवाइडेड इन टू वेरियस स्मॉल किंगडम्स अमंग दीज द सदर्न किंगडम ऑफ वेनार बिकेम मोर प्रोमिनेंट The local Nair landlords named Pillai's also took advantage of the situation and grabbed all the political power in the Travancore region and also the control of Sri Padma Bhaswami Temple the most important temple in Travancore Padma Bhaswami Temple played an important role in the life of people during the medieval era in the Venar arts economy religious life etc was centered in padma bhaswami temple this situation continued till around the 18th century and the pillai did all sorts of act to preserve their political power this also includes murders of the crown princes as per various reports but during the 18th century a new prince martanda verma came to power in travancore he was born to queen kartika thirunal and succeeded his uncle rama verma when he got into power he quickly exterminated all the pillais and their family without a trace putting an end to centuries of murders and mischief and after grabbing his rightful place on the throne he also unified the various maternal branches of venard this resulted in the formation of modern day travancore from the medieval venar kingdom for his help he had an able prime minister named ramaya dalava as his diwan and his nair army under his command martanda verma defeated the dutch force in the battle of kolachal which made travancore one of the first indian kingdoms to defeat europeans the dutch captain dilanoy surrendered and became a war of prisoner and supremacy of the dutch in india ended completely as a result of this battle captain lenoy later joined martin de verma's army and helped him in modernizing the brigade of travancore from the dutch records it is very clear that martin de verma had planned to conquer the whole of kerala and re-establish the chera kingdom or the holy land of parshurama for this he conducted a ritual named as hiranaya garba to crown himself with the chera mundi the crown of chera which is still with the travancore royal family and obtained the title of kula shekhara perumal the title of chera kings after conquering these regions he surrendered his entire kingdom to sri padma swami through a ceremony named thira padinam as a result of this padma bhaswami became the real ruler of kingdom while martanda verma ruled on his behalf and his respective by naming himself padma bha dasa meaning slave of shri padma bha commemorating this event he also conducted the bar with the murti of shri padma bhaswami Watch this upcoming episode of Swaraj at 9 p.m. Sunday on Doordarshan. Witness the saga of this staunch dharmic monarch who wanted to restore the Chera kingdom to its former glory and rule the kingdom as a servant of Sri Padma Bhaswami. Thank you. Please stay tuned and like and share our videos.